In this video tutorial, we will show you how to make PDF from dynamic HTML data under Node application. Today, we are diving into the world of Node.js and Puppeteer library to tackle a common challenge like converting HTML to PDF seamlessly. Whether you are automating report generation, creating invoices, or simply archiving web content, mastering this skill can be incredibly valuable. Well, with Puppetia, we can make that happen, in a snap. Puppetia is like a magic tool, that lets us control a web browser, from our code. And today, we are using it, to turn HTML into PDF. Even if you are not a coding expert, do not worry. We will go through, each step together. By the end, you will be a Puppetia Pro, and making PDF like a champ. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this is our testing database. And under this, we have one sample data table, with table column like, ID, name, phone, email, address, postal zip, region and country. And under this table, we have already inserted some data, so from this data, we want to make, dynamic PDF file. So here, we have already, installed Node Express framework. And here also, we have make database connection also, with testing database. And here, we have also fetch sample table data, and display on web page, in HTML table format. Now I want to convert this data, into PDF file, so for this, we have goes to, data.html file, and here want to make link, for generate PDF document. So here, we have to write, anchor tag, with href attribute is equal to, slash convert PDF. And in anchor text, we have to write, download in PDF, so when we have click on this link, then it will redirect us to this get route, for get data in PDF format. Now we want to install Puppetia library, and open library, under this node application. So here in terminal window, we have to run this command, which will download, Puppetia library, and open library, in our node application. Now we have goes to app.js file, and here, first we want to make one function, for convert HTML content to PDF. So here, first we want to include puppetal library, under this file, so here, we have to write, puppetal variable is equal to, require method, with library name puppetal, so here, we have to create object of puppetal library. Now for convert HTML to PDF, here we have to write, a synchronous function convert HTML to PDF, with three parameter like, HTML content, PDF file path, and margins is equal to, top 10 mm, right 10 mm, bottom 10 mm and left 10 mm. So here, we have to create function, for convert HTML to PDF, and by default, here we have also set margin. Under this function, we have to write, browser variable is equal to, await puppeta object to launch function, which launches a new browser instance. And here, await keyword is used here, because puppeta launch function, return promise. And await is used to wait for promise, to resolve before continuing, with the code execution. After this, we have to write, constant page variable is equal to, await browser variable dot, new page function. So here, we have declares constant variable named, like page. And this new page function on browser object, which was created by launching, a browser instance earlier. And the await keyword is used to wait, for the creation of the new page before continuing execution. 
Next we have to write await keyword with page object dot set content function. With parameter like HTML content, so this code will set the page content. Now for generate PDF, so we have to write await page object dot PDF function. And under parameter, we have to define different option in an array. So in path key, we have to write PDF file path variable. In format key, we have to write A4. And in margin key, we have to write margins variable. So this code will convert HTML to PDF with this different options. Now we want to open generated PDF file in the default PDF viewer. So for this, here we have to write constant open variable is equal to await keyword with import function and under this, we have to write open library name. So by this code, we can import this open library under this function. Now below this, we have to write await keyword with open variable dot default function. And under this function, we have to write PDF file path variable, so it will open generated PDF file in default PDF viewer. Lastly, we want to close browser, so here we have to write await keyword with browser object dot close method, so it will close browser. So here our function is ready for convert HTML to PDF. Now we want to make one get route for handle PDF creation request. So here, we have to write app.get method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write slash convert PDF route name. And in second parameter, we have to write asynchronous function with request and response variable as parameter. Under this function, we have to write database variable dot query method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write select query like select star from sample data table. And in second parameter, we have to write asynchronous callback function with error and results variable as parameter. Under this function, we have to define one HTML variable with blank value. So under this variable, we will store sample data table data in HTML format. Now below this, we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write results variable dot length value is greater than zero. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have to write HTML variable and under this variable we have to append this HTML code and under this code we have create one table with seven table column for display data like name phone email address zip code region and country now we want to fill this table with data so we want to fetch data from results variable so here we have to write results.map function with row variable as parameter. Under this function, we have to write HTML variable and under this variable, we have append this HTML code. Now in first table column, we have to write row.name variable so it will print name table column data. In second table column, we have to write row.phone variable, so it will print phone table column data. In third table column, we have to write row.email variable, so it will display email table column data. In fourth table column, we have to write row.address variable, so it will display address table column data. In fifth table column, we have to write row.postal zip variable 
so it will display postal zip table column data. In sixth table column, we have to write row dot region variable, so it will display region column data. And in last table column, we have to write row dot country variable, so it will display country column data. So it will convert sample data table data into HTML format and store under this HTML variable. Now we want to convert this HTML data into PDF. So here we have to write await keyword and then after we have to call convert HTML to PDF function with two parameter. In first parameter we have to write HTML variable and in second parameter we have to write data.pdf which is newly generated PDF file name. So here our code is ready. Now want to check output in the browser. So we have goes to terminal. And here we have run this command which will start node development server. So friends here in browser we have open base URL of our node application slash get data. So here on page we can see that sample data table data has been display on web page in HTML table format. And above this table we can see that one button for download data in PDF format. So we have click on this button and after click on this button here we can see that this HTML content has been converted into PDF format which we can see here. So here it has convert HTML content to PDF file format under this node application by using PubPetal library. So in this tutorial we covered everything from launching a browser instance to creating new pages and generating PDF. Now you have the tools to automate all sorts of tasks from generating reports to archiving web content. If you found this tutorial helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy coding. See you in the next video.